Folks, gentlemen, men, boys, humans, it is 2.10 in the morning, and I got a few minutes to escape from the hustle and bustle of the busy emergency room to deliver some more good news. Now, part of what we try to do with the Stoke Life and the Ultimate Dad Bod is to get us men feeling like we deserve to feel. Um, as men, you know that our optimal hormone is testosterone, and it's extremely important to optimize this hormone in the best ways we can. Now, about eight years ago, seven or eight years ago, I was in a period, uh, you know, I, I've been through a lot of stuff like most of you guys uh, have, but I wasn't feeling so well. And I went to see uh, a friend of mine who was an anti-aging doctor, and we did a bunch of tests, and we found out that my estrogen levels were through the roof. Not good, not good for humanity and especially the people around me. So um, instead of just, uh, you know, having someone put me on testosterone or, or supplements to help increase my testosterone, which I am on, we started first with taking out things in our diet, in our nutrition plan that um, actually can increase or make your estrogen levels too high. So that's what we're going to talk about today, five high estrogen foods to avoid. And most of the guys uh, that are in my program, uh, they all consume <laughs> some form of this, and um, it's detrimental. So having high estrogen levels gives us extremely bad symptoms as well as hormonal imbalances. I mean, it, it affects our sleep. It affects our mood. Um, it, get, it causes excess uh, fat, weight gain, bloating. Um, it's bad for our thyroid health and our metabolism. It slows down our metabolism tremendously, and it has negative effects on our reproductive health, i.e. our man parts. Not good. We don't want that ever. So number one, a food to avoid to um, help prevent us from getting high estrogen levels. Now, as men, you know, we thrive on testosterone, but we also have estrogen in our system, which is good. We need a small amount, but high estrogen levels, bad. Number one, to avoid factory farm meats. Factory farm meats. Okay, bad. Um, so what we want to try to do instead is to get the organic grass-fed meat um, that does not contain all of the hormones and extra estrogen. This, these factory farm meats, I mean, they may taste good. They actually really don't taste that much. Uh, they don't taste good. You compare the two and like, you, you can notice the difference in the quality of the food. So factory farm meats, bad, have all these extra chemicals and hormones which increase your estrogen, which is bad. Number two, now this is one that's gonna get people, I've actually talked about this before, and people are like, oh no, I saw it in a magazine that I should be eating this because it's good for me, but it's not, okay? People think this is good, but it's not. Fact. Flax seeds. Oh, that's a, that a Flax seeds, bad. So again, people think this is healthy, they throw it in their smoothie, they put it on their cereal, which is also terrible, um, but not from an estrogen standpoint. This is bad. It contains something called lignans, L-I-G-N-A-N-S, which are extremely estrogenic, and that's something we want to avoid. So this whole, um, this late health craze over the past 10 or 12 years, oh, we need flag seed that has a good source of this and that, no, wrong. It has a good source of estrogen estrogen, which we do not want as men. We want to feel like men. We want low estrogen, high testosterone levels. Um, again, the mainstream media has us led to believe that flaxseed's good. It's not. Avoid it. Number three, we've talked about this before. Soy. Bad. Bad. With three A's. Causes... Um, contains something called isoflavones, uh, and this promotes the estrogenic effect. 
bad. Soy is bad. Um, so soy, you know, soy protein, avoid it. Any, you know, tofu and tempeh and things like that. It's from a plant, yes, but this estrogenic effect is bad and wreaks havoc on our hormonal balance. <sighs> Number four, we're kind of going. Number four, beans and legumes. Bad. Uh, they taste good. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm not a big fan of baked beans, but, you know, those black beans on days it's time to eat our, our burritos and tacos, it's good. But let me tell you something. It's only good for a short period of time because it actually has an estrogenic effect as well as effect on our thyroid, which is bad for our, our metabolism. And number five, we're going to keep it short today. I'm trying to keep everything around five or six minutes because a man's attention span is, it's, we're lucky if we can get through, you know, three or four minutes. So, um, factory dairy. So the dairy that we get in the stores um, with the growth hormone and the antibiotics and the it, bad guys, we, we need to cut this out completely. I've had some guys send me uh, pictures of their meals. Um, I get all my clients do that every day and they send me you know, this, you know, this cheese and it's, I'm like, it's killing me. I'm like, guys, you can't do that. It tastes good for like 30 seconds, but it's terrible for your body. So the, the factory dairy, we want to cut it out. We want to get, the uh, dairy, if you have to have dairy, which, you know, it's something that you can cut out. You don't need dairy because uh, dairy does a lot of other negative things on our body, too. So um, do the, the organic stuff. Do, do the goat dairy and do all the other sources. But it, it cut out the one, the, uh, the cow, the dairy with hormones, antibiotics, and so forth. So there you have it. Number one, factory farm meats. Number two, flax seeds. Don't believe the media, it's BS. Soy, bad. Beans and legumes, taste good, bad. Bye, factory dairy. If any of you fellows are interested in the Ultimate Dad Bod and Stoked Life, click the link below. Uh, there will be a link. Uh, we can set up a time to talk, see if you're a good fit. It's not for everyone. You know what? This is all about becoming the peak and optimal versions of ourselves and becoming the best men we can so that we can have a good energy, we can uh, have a good libido, we can have uh, feel that sense of purpose so that we can produce in our lives for our family, for our loved ones, and have that sense of fulfillment and feel like the men we are and we deserve to feel like. So uh, if you have any comments, great. Love to hear. If you have any, uh, if, if you resonate with this, if you like this video, if you want to share it with any other guys, Share it. And if there's any other topics you'd like to talk about, we can do it. Shoot me a message. Love you guys. See you on the inside.